there's only two ways that you could fix hypoxemia. Welcome back to Crypto Day 14. Today we're talking about hypoxemia. And as I said, there's only two ways you can fix hypoxemia. If you have a patient who has pneumonia, pulmonary edema, ARDS, you can crank up the FiO2 or you can increase the mean airway pressure. Increasing the FiO2 is a way we inherently know. We all know that you can put them on higher concentrations of oxygen, but that only fixes the concentration of oxygen that the person is breathing in. If you want to fix the problem of, let's say, pulmonary edema, you need to open up those distal alveoli. They may collapse because they have fluid within them. And giving a higher concentration of oxygen is not going to fix that problem. But increasing the mean airway pressure is a way that you can fix that problem because by increasing the mean airway pressure you're going to start to open up those alveoli increase the surface area that those alveoli can conduct gas exchange and you're going to help the patient with oxygenation there's two main devices available to help us with this oxygenation issue first is high flow nasal cannula and the second way is continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP before you get on me in the comments you can use BPAP but that's really reserved for another type of respiratory problem we'll talk about later and this concept is from a bigger talk that I have available on another long form video channel and it's called the rule of twos just remember when you have have somebody who is having trouble with oxygenation, there's two ways to fix this problem. Crank up the FO2 or increase the mean airway pressure. Think about the two devices that you have available, high flow nasal cannula or continuous positive airway pressure. And that's why it's so important that you know 